What's up everybody, it's Sean here, here today to give you guys a review of the New Balance 550 in this white and night watch green colorway. So this right here is my latest New Balance 550 pickup, and I grabbed these over at The Closet Inc. The Closet Inc. is an independently owned and operated shop located here in Southern Ontario in Canada. And they carry a decent collection of New Balance sneakers as well. So for anyone watching in Canada that wants to support an independent shop, I'll link their website, their social media, all that good stuff down below. So as we all know by now, the New Balance 550 is arguably the brand's most popular silhouette these days. Originally an 80s basketball sneaker, it's made its return over the past few years as a very popular lifestyle shoe choice. And this pair right here is a brand new colorway. The colorway for this shoe is white, night watch green and grey, and the style code for this shoe is BB550PWC. And they retail for 120 US dollars or 150 here in Canada. So diving into the details of this shoe, the upper of the sneaker for the most part is constructed out of the smooth leather. So on the toe box, you can see we have this white colored leather and we have these three rows of perforations cut diagonally. Overlaid on the front toe cap, we have this asymmetrical layer of leather. And then moving downwards, we have this 550 branding done in yellow on the lateral side. This panel here is perforated on the bottom and underneath this, there's a secondary green synthetic layer underneath. Above this on the mid panel, we have more of that smooth white leather and then cut out from within, it reveals the New Balance N logo, which is constructed out of an off-white vinyl-like material with a layer of yellow leather on the edges. Moving downwards, we have an overlay of this green colored leather, and then surrounding the top portion of the heel, we have this off-white colored mesh. Surrounding the bottom of the heel, we have a gray colored leather, and then pressed onto the middle, we have the New Balance logo done in yellow. At the very bottom of the heel, we have this TPU heel clip done in a combination of cream and black, and this gives you additional structure and support for the back end of the shoe. Turning our attention back to the front, so right before the laces, we have this layer of mesh, which reveals this yellow colored layer underneath. And in terms of the laces, so these only come with one lace option, and they're just your normal flat style New Balance laces in white. Underneath this, we have a mesh tongue, which is done in this off-white color, giving it a bit of a vintage touch. And at the very top, we have this rectangular tag with New Balance 550 branding. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe is lined in this white colored nylon, which is a very soft and smooth feel to the touch. And then moving on to the insoles, so these come with your typical ortholite dual density insoles. So we have that top layer of foam in black with the New Balance logo stamped on the heel, and then underneath the back half of the insole, we have a secondary layer of foam to give you that added level of comfort and cushioning. So the upper of the 550 sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, which is painted in white, and we have the New Balance word mark and the New Balance logo found on the lateral side. And then flipping the shoe over to the medial side, in the middle we have this wedge of exposed foam, and this is EVA foam that's found within the midsole, which is the midsole's only source of cushioning for this shoe. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here is constructed out of a combination of grey and green colored rubber. We have a circular pivot point on the forefoot, along with the New Balance word mark running down the center of the heel. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this 550. And for those wondering about sizing, I feel like these run a little bit more true to size than some of my other 550s. So in some cases where the leather is a bit more forgiving and softer, I can go a half size down on those 550s. But for this pair, maybe because the leather is a bit stiffer, it felt quite snug out of the box. So I would recommend sticking true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I should have got these in a size 10. Instead, I got them in a nine and a half and they are a little bit uncomfortable but if you have narrow feet, you can probably go a half size down in this model, no problem. Moving on to the comfort, so the 550, in my opinion at least, I find them to be quite comfortable. I know a lot of people out there say that the 550s are very uncomfortable and I can kind of see why. They are quite heavy and stiff, but honestly that ortholite insole is very well cushioned and that's where the majority of that underfoot comfort is coming from. But if you like more of a flexible and more softer setup underfoot, then you probably won't like these. I'd say that they're more similar to an Air Force One or a Nike Dunk, as opposed to other New Balance silhouettes like the 990 series, which were originally intended to be made for running. So that explains why this model is a lot more clunky, which is why a lot of people feel that they are uncomfortable. But for just an everyday casual use shoe, they're gonna be perfectly fine. I just probably wouldn't necessarily bring these on a vacation, for example, or if I'm no longer gonna be walking all over the city, then I'd probably opt for another silhouette instead of this one. Last but not least, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship, so first off, material quality it was pretty poor. Even though on the website it reads it's premium leather, honestly this leather feels pretty synthetic to the touch. It has a stiff feel to them, which was a little bit disappointing. 
I know 550s can be a bit of a hit or miss. Some colorways, New Balance gives us much better materials compared to others, and unfortunately, the materials on this one weren't great. But the overall build and the craftsmanship was okay. There weren't major flaws. The only issue I had was the paint job on this heel counter was a bit poor. But other than that, it was pretty solid. So for the price point you're paying, I guess you kind of get what you pay for. This is not going to be a made in USA or made in UK level of quality. If you're going to be wearing this shoe just as an everyday beater, then I think it's going to be perfectly fine. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look. For our general release New Balance 550, this is a very clean colorway. It's a great option to wear in the fall with the hits of green and the yellow. I know a lot of people were comparing them to the Aimé Leondor 550s in that same green and yellow colorway. So if you struck out on that pair, I think this is a great alternative for a fraction of the price. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this colorway. What are your overall thoughts on this pair and the 550 in general? Are you someone that hopped on the bandwagon and are you a fan of this model? Or is it really not your cup of tea, which is perfectly fine too. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram page at sgo8. Check out my Twitter as well at sean.go. And visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and hopefully I helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.